Lorenz to okay. our aim is to add listing with the uh, what do you say total count okay. and uh, able to apply limit and offset. Product listing limit and offset in the number of first time say the list product. So we know that list the product should be there. This is the output should be there, correct? List product should be there. So that will be a product list, right? So control shift until we all know and product is kind. Then, apart from that, what should be there? So this should be account should be there, correct? Huh? Count should be there and uh, it should be and it can be an SQL query also. We can see what is the SQL query of count, how much it will get, we'll need to see. So we'll say count of one. Okay, count of one. So big integer it will come. Right? Big int. So what we'll do. Integer. Okay. Integer total count. Total count we got. Now we need to generate a status and get a list. Okay. What is this list we'll get? We'll see. Once we get into an implementation mode, okay. We have generated the request. So this request will be okay. This is not a request, sorry. Actually, first of all, this should be a response. Actually, response. This is a response. This is not a request, actually. Sorry. Okay. This is a response. Response. Now what we'll see in our controller what we'll say will not give only this we'll give this means we have wrapped into one response and we are sending that response what we have that what we have in that response we have already a product listing and along with that we're sending a total count which will help front end to show the page list. right so along with this now we know that that should be there so now what we'll do let's say Product response, we have created an object. So we know that we have already created a setters and getters. Set product list will have that product list. So this is done. So one job is done with the existing one. But what we need to return, return is a product listing response. Product listing response, yes. That should be there. We have done. And product listening response should have a yeah, total count also, right? How will total count come? So product service to get product uh, total count. Okay, total count will not have any parameter, obviously. So product service. Create a method. Yeah, and that is a method. Okay. So on the other hand, we need to have an implementation layer. So if we click on the red bulb, it will show you to add implemented methods. Yes, we will add an implemented methods. And here we create a product now. And get total count. Now, 
session as the input. Right. So now that we have saved, but every method should have a transaction. Without a transaction, nothing will happen. And this implementation, this method first should be created in an interface. Once it is being created, what we need to do is we need to make it all down there. Yes, we will go to the error directly. Yes, and then and then implemented methods. Yes, once this is done, we will demo this. We know that session is there, get current session. Of, uh, we'll write a SQL query. Till, till now, we have not written a SQL query. So, what we'll do, we can write a SQL query. From this session, you can understand how to write a SQL query. Create a SQL query. Okay. Create a SQL query. What is the SQL query we need to write? This is the SQL query. Right, that way, yeah. Hmm. Yes, so this is a SQL query. Always the query should be in a quotations. Yes, count of one from products. But what do we have? We need to get one single result, not list system. That's why it's again add cast to integer. Yeah, we'll see what will happen. So once this is done, everything is done now. So this also error went away. So now we will get a, in one controller two service we are calling. One to get a limit with limit and offset how much, and another one is total count. So in total count is that. So what we will do? Stop the server. And we'll go to a demo application. We'll start the server. Yes, we have started the server. So we are good to keep the server with the same URL. I think what is the URL also we need to cross verify. URL APFH product limited offset. Yes, we are getting a limited offset. Let us consider we'll have 10 now 10 by 0. Yeah. Increase our S on to 100. Okay. So this is a get method we all know. Let us hit the service. 500. I expected big integer cannot be casted to ah, this error will come because this is a big integer here. What you are trying to cast is for integer. Okay, big integer can be done. Big int, I think. Big int, I can take. Big int, you can't take. Huh? So casting error is coming. Let us search. We will begin to do. SQL begin to do. SQL begin to do. Java. Uh, uh, Okay, so can I do a big integer? Yeah, big integer is there. So now we'll say big integer. What is the problem now? Because it had already changed to, it was an integer, no? That's the reason. So again, we need to change here also. Again, we need to change. Yes. Yes. Changed here also. 
Again, uh, we have to change in the response also, right? The response, it was with the integer, no? So that's the reason we need to have this with the big integer and big integer response we got. Okay, big integer. Hope this is done from this. It can be done, no problem. Start the server. Yes, save it, please. So before starting the server, we need to save everything. Okay. So now again, we have started the server. Again, we are going to hit the data message from here. So same URL, we are going to hit with limit and offset of 10. Got it. So what additionally we got in the response is the total count of 32. So for this we need. So if you give this to front end, then they will able to fit. So from this, what did you understand? Again, what we have done first video, we had initially only list of products, but we need to send a total count also along with them. So we are wrapping it into one response. So we are wrapping it into one response. So now we have wrapped the response into one response layer. So this is called wrapper class. Okay. We can build a n number of wrapper class. There is no limit of data, well, no limit of variables inside the wrapper class. You can have a number of variables, but we have only two. So better to have a small wrapper classes. For a... Let's have a response. And we know that already listing services have done previously. We don't have any objection, but we have to send a total count. That was my objective here. So in total count, we know that in response, the uh, big integer list will come because it is an SQL query, because, because we are targeting an SQL query. Where other than SQL query, you, can, you would have written, uh, what do you say? SQL query also, no problem. We'll see that later. First of all, we'll concentrate how we'll add two services into one layer is another point also based on. So now uh, we have added a transaction uh, in the service layer. In the service implementation, we are calling it our layer. Yes, in the DAO layer, uh, the entrance session, create SQL query. Till now you are seeing create query, create query. That is a HQL query. Now you have written SQL query. You can write SQL queries also. Okay. So now we need result. So for count, anytime if you're taking, you should go with the unique result. For count, especially if you're taking a count, unique result. So that's there. So once you hit this, obviously you can see the query also. It's hitting the query and it is giving you the data. So two queries have been hit at once with one service. Clear? Clear? Right. Very good. So that's it. Side. 